So this video is actually going to be about um, making your own planner and how you can do it without spending $75 or more because I don't know about you but I don't have that kind of money to spend on a planner so that's what this video is going to be about. So one of my favorite places to go to is Target and what Target has is this um, dollar spot but some people I guess they changed the name to a bullseye and what they have is uh, binders that you can get and this one was three dollars they also had this one for three dollars and they have these nice accessories that actually go along with the binder this one has the um, sticky notes the page flags and the list pad and so this is what it looks like and you got all of this for three dollars to make your own planner is basically whatever binder you um, pick. For this video I actually picked um, this one and they, Target also has the calendar pages. They're um, unmarked so you actually all it has is um, the date on there. It says Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and um, this is what it looks like and it's also three dollars. So you basically customize your own planner. It has um, six dividers 78 weekly pages and 18 monthly pages. Now what you can do is actually um, once you open it you can make um, photocopies of it because it it's not um, single sided it's actually double sided so they, they have it printed out on each page and it only has six, six dividers so if you want to use it for the full year you can actually um, create a, six additional dividers so that that way you have your year on the planner. So what I did was I actually um, picked different pages that I liked uh, because the spread from Target only has six. I wanted to do um, six more dividers for the calendar so these were the ones that I picked. Uh, you don't actually have to spend a lot of money. Uh, Hobby Lobby and Michael sell them individually uh, depending on which one you get. They range from 65 cents to two dollars and so I ended up picking six and what I'm going to do is use these to make six additional dividers. So with this one what I did uh, is I'm actually going to turn it um, around and make the dividers and with this the way that I'm doing it I can actually make one page um, two dividers so you wouldn't actually have to use the um, full six uh, cardstock pages you can actually use three if you want to reuse the same print. Now if you don't then you can use the full six and make different dividers. Change them out however you want to do it. So I always use pencil to trace it just because it makes it easier for me in case I make a mistake and then all you do is you cut the rest of it out. So this is what it actually um, they look like once you're done. These are the dividers for the year. Now I can always go back and pick a different pattern and change them out. But yeah, you end up getting 12 all together. So this is um, what my planner looks like. These are the stickies, the notepad, the stickers. And then this is what it looks like, the monthly spread. So then I just put the month right here and um, fill in the days. And the best part about this is I can start it any month. It doesn't have to start in January or July. It can start in February and then, you know, if I need to skip a month, I can skip a month and still have the rest of the, the month on there. Um, what I liked about the the notepad is that you can actually tear off as many pieces as you want and put it on whatever month you want and you basically use it to write whatever notes. Uh, you can make it a to-do list or things that you know you need to complete that month or that week. So it can be a weekly thing or a monthly thing. It's um, your choice. You basically get to decide.
that's basically uh, my planner. And it didn't have to be $70. I actually ended up spending um, everything that's on sale right now at any store because it's uh, back to school time. You basically get to decide how much you want to spend on it. You can spend anywhere from $6 to 15 It's your choice.